Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to uh, another edition of uh, the Access of Trader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing okay. Um, it, it, it is kind of cool. Uh, it, it is kind of cool that again, the stock market is 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 all about uh, individual uh, wants and needs. And there's an old adage: uh, one man's trash is one is the next man's treasure. And depending who you ask today, your day could have been very very aggressive or very very passive. Like yesterday, for example, uh, we had a very aggressive day to start the week. You know, you had Roku. Uh, Tesla, Roku, Netflix, very, very aggressive, uh, big expansion ranges, and everything was good. And when you came today, especially for all you guys at Morning Strategy, I turned around and I said, it, it just doesn't, it, it doesn't, it just does not look, resemble an open that is going to have a lot of aggression. And I said, look, we don't know what's going to happen after, but based on how everything is lined up on their 60 minute channels, it might turn out to be a quiet day. Again, it goes back to the theory, one man's trash is another man's treasure. We'll talk about the individual pivots in a second. Um, and if you look at the problem with today's session, again, just strictly from the point of technical analysis, you're starting to get to the point that stocks are very tired. Okay, Again, it might not be obvious to a lot of, especially new traders, but if you even go back to last Wednesday and Thursday and Friday, we had we had this really extensive discussion, actually spent, spilling over into uh, the weekend video. That you know, I said, look, there might be a rounding top because I just don't like the way these stocks are acting. And for the first two days in a row, you can see really good action and a lot of stalling. Very very good action and a lot of stalling. And when you look at the indexes compared to uh, individual action today, you could clearly see my point. And when you go into a market that is very, very stagnant, more than two, three, four days in a row. Again, you can definitely get pivots. You can definitely make money. But the point is when you're looking at the macro landscape and you say to yourself, well, something just doesn't feel right, you're probably right. Okay, you're probably right. And today when we started, when we were talking about morning strategy with stocks like Shop and Boeing, you know, look, and Baidu we talked about, look, those trades worked, right? Those pivots worked. But when you're not talking about Netflix, when you're not talking about Amazon, where you are talking about Amazon, but it just doesn't get enough mustard, it doesn't get enough traction to confirm channels, there's a problem there. Again, not saying, again, the market's going to go to hell, the market's going to go to zero. Nobody's talking about these crazy, crazy things. We're, we're just talking about stocks being tired. And again, just the way there is a seller strike, okay, when the market stops going down, there's also a buyer strike. And, if, and again, we're not going to know if it plays out into fruition until stocks start literally stopping going up and fail the five-day moving average. But you could see it day by day. There is a strike forming. You could see it. Netflix. Again, did Netflix really need to get sold today, right? I mean, did the stock really need to get hit today? Not really. Again, that new Disney Plus news was out from six months ago, okay? Uh, again, did the headlines spook everybody out by saying, well, not only is Disney going to have random con you know, content, it's going to have its own content and, and a library. Again, what does Narcos have to do right, with Narcos and you know, where are they now, Porn 3, have to do with Bambi, right? have to do with uh, you know, Pinocchio, the whole of the Disney library is not so much. So all, all, these, all these headlines that people shoot first and ask questions later, they're, you know, they're excuses. I, again, I look at it from the macro point of view. And when you saw the majority of names today, things contracted, okay? Things really, really contracted. And I, I've been saying this for years. You, you don't need to, and again, if you're, if you're watching this the first time, you're gonna hear me say this you know, very randomly, but you're gonna hear me say it. And you don't need to trade every day. When, when, the, when, the, when the ranges are contracting, you want to make sure that, again, you don't you burn your mental equity. Like today, for example, um, I shorted Netflix on that breakdown, made some money. Again, I, I knew it wasn't going to be a big move because it's daily support. 
And then I shorted Roku, got, got a little bit of cash flow. They reclaimed support and basically took mo most of my Netflix money away. And I started looking and I go, well, this day is starting to resemble what we saw two weeks ago. And remember, you guys remember that day that every, literally every trade that I put on gave 50, 60 cents and then came right back in. Today was kind of the same thing because the ranges were so tight. The only difference between today and like two weeks ago, um, you, you saw a lot more structure, okay? Now, good, look, do you want to give the bulls the benefit of that? Absolutely, there's absolutely no fear. But again, something for us to pay attention to, especially uh, for tomorrow's session, you'll, you'll notice I have a pretty decent amount of shorts on for uh, tomorrow's ideas. You, you can see how the 60 minute channels are playing out, right? Like look at the 60 minute views. I just wanna show you guys something. Look at Facebook, right? Look at NVIDIA, okay? Look at Apple, okay? Look at Amazon, right? Everybody understand what I'm saying? Look at Netflix, okay? Uh, look at Square, which, which also had a very, very aggressive channel. I know they have earnings tomorrow and Roku has uh, earnings tomorrow, but you, you kind of get the idea. You know, BYND, there was actually a pivot to the upside today, but again, they, they, they botched it. They botched it. Again, inverted hammer, right? Went below the five day, you know, it's going to resume lower tomorrow. So we have a lot of names that we do like uh, going into tomorrow's session. I, I think there's a shot. We get a very, very aggressive reversal. A lot of people are not going to are not going to have that opinion, okay? Because they, again, they see the market, you know, they see the market this high. But again, even if I'm wrong tomorrow, okay, and the market goes higher, again, does it really make a difference? Again, it's not being about right or wrong. It's having an opinion, having clues in front of you. We just have to see those clues get confirmed. So if you look at uh, today's pivots, they, they weren't they weren't bad. Again, that's that's the most amazing part. Quiet day doesn't mean bad day. It just means quiet day. And if you choose to trade that that day you choose to trade so if you look at the pivot state there was nothing wrong with them at all like zero um here you know here's here's you know here are the pivots in the morning uh amazon again no way near confirming uh amazon 1860 needs to build okay uh at bynd upgraded today by bernstein this morning the last two upgrades were sold experienced trader watched the green thread never got there the funny thing is it never got to the green to red scenario to sell it we'll talk about the upside pivot in a second in the video, we talked about 212, it needs to build, never got there. Now, Shopify was good. Okay, I know several people who took Shopify, you guys did great. The stock still looks lower. There was nothing wrong with Shopify, right? I was just watching other things. You know, Shopify, we talked about the 303.50, 303.00. Uh, stock went down 10. Again, one man's trash is another man's treasure. Again, I actually still like it for tomorrow. A breakdown below 290, and then if it gets below 287, this thing has a shot to go lower. So again, if you caught this trade, God bless. You know, who am I to say? Again, who am I to say that it wasn't a good pivot? It was a great pivot. It actually went straight down. There was nothing wrong with it, right? Alibaba broke that area, right? Just again, just to show you an example, there was no follow through on those second entries. It broke above, right? It broke above that 50, uh, 182.80 area, put in an initial high of 183.20, right? And never gave you the second entry. Again, came right back down. Okay, so that's why we, we always say, guys, Second entry, second entry, second entry. It's a very, very important thing. Um, Facebook did exactly the same thing, right? We talked about uh, 97.50, got no way near it, right? No way near it, not even close. Uh, too low, I know some of you guys caught this trade. Too low, 91.50, 91. If it builds below, it can flush. Again, was this a monster move? No, there wasn't a monster move. That was the whole kind of point of the whole day. You know, here's the pivot right here. This 91.50 went down to... Uh, 89.80 again, a dollar fifty move. Okay, right? Okay. <laughs> I mean, what do you what do you want me to say? Again, there was no you know there was no aggression. Microsoft not even close. OSPN never got above the twenty. Neo, you know, again, how there just wasn't enough room. Neo twenty three sixty, right? Twenty three sixty, twenty three seventy. Again, if you call a twenty twenty five cent move a victory. Okay, God bless. This isn't social media. This is real life. So again, you can see the moves just weren't happening. Boeing moved. Okay, Boeing moved. Congratulations for you guys who did catch the trade. Uh, Boeing 356 needs to build for more upside. Boeing exploded. Okay, Boeing absolutely exploded. Uh, almost went to 362. Again, one man's trash is another man's treasure. If you notice, I didn't trade Boeing. I didn't trade Shopify. Again, I was watching the stocks that I trade. Unfortunately, the stocks that I trade netted me out a cup of coffee. Again, is a cup of coffee the worst thing in the world? May your worst trading days be a small profit. God bless. Again, 
I wasn't part of this one. Uh, again, you, you can just see the day over and over again. BYND actually gave a trade. We noticed that the stock just wasn't going down, right? It just wasn't going down. I said, hey, listen, if it starts getting above uh, 84, it could spike. Da 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 da, went up a dollar, right? Stock went down $90 in the last two months. It went up a dollar today. Guess what? It's going to resume going down tomorrow. It's all good. Uh, Netflix, I caught, you know, Netflix, I caught it for like, you know, 70 cents or so, 75 cents for like two thirds, and then the rest I, I broke even on. Uh, Roku, I shorted um, 42, 43. Oh, excuse me. This is ready. Uh, this is ready before that. Hold on, hold on. Uh, yeah, there was no second entry for the, you know, 323 needs to reclaim. Went to 23.50, put in an initial high. There was no second entry. How do I know? Because the stock went up to 317. Um, I think you guys get the point. I mean, I think you kind of get the point here. Uh, NVIDIA, nothing, right? Like my man Todd said, today's like watching paint dry. Again, one man's trash is another man's treasure. Me and Todd are on the same page. A lot of us in the live webinar are on the same page. If you guys traded some of these things, again, God bless. Again, so, you know, everybody's going to have a different... Uh, when you have a day like this, you're going to have, you know, very, very different opinions. Uh, and again, for all you guys who took this trade, uh, NXTC needs to reclaim 9, 90. It actually went to 95. We're actually, I actually, believe it or not, I actually like this trade uh, for tomorrow's session. So, so again, very, very lethargic move, moves today. Very boring day. But again, boring is good. Sometimes you need to reset. Sometimes you need to refocus on uh, recapturing mental capital. And again, not every single day. Uh, needs to be this amazing, you know, yesterday we had a very, very good aggressive action. Today, again, there were some pivots, but overall, very, very slow. Again, so let's talk about tomorrow. Uh, again, I want to give the Bears the benefit of the doubt. If there's going to be any rug pull, I think it might be tomorrow. Okay, I think it might be tomorrow. Uh, so let's talk about it on uh, Netflix. Congratulations for putting in the time to take control of your trading. You're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire. Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan, straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 Vault, where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.